Hey friends, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise. I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm here with a quick style comparison. I'm here to show you two bobs with bangs. The one on my head is Elva by Mariko, and this one is Mariah by Henry Margot. They're very, very similar, some very subtle differences. I thought I'd show them both to you since I recently reviewed them both. And in case you're in the market for a bob with bangs, you'll get a comparison and maybe you'll find something that you're looking for. If you'd like to know more, stick around. I would like to thank Name Brand Wigs for sending me both of these to review and giving me the opportunity for this comparison. I get asked all the time to do sister style comparisons, so I know this is something you guys like to see. I will um, link my reviews of these pieces below because this isn't a review of them and I do talk more in depth about the wigs, the color in the dedicated reviews. So those will be below. This is just a quick look at them side by side in case you are a bob with bangs wearer and now you'll have two more to consider. All right. So what I have on my head is Elva in the color Candy Brown LR. This is Mariah by Henry Margu. This is Noriko Mariah in the color 2418 GR. Now they're both basic cap, also known as machine made caps. So they both do not have any cap features, no lace front, no monofilament. Both have hook, um, Velcro adjusters, boy, sometimes that brain, and extended nape. So they're very similar in that way. In addition, they're both regular synthetic. So neither one of these are heat friendly. And so with all of that, they're very much the same. The price point, and you can see it before I switch them up. Um, and the price point is very close as well. They're within $10 of each other. Noriko is about, this one is about $10 more, but you can use a coupon with the Noriko piece. I do have a 30% off coupon, which I'll put below. But unfortunately, Henry Margot is pretty strict about the coupons that can be used with their brand. And most times you can't use a coupon with the Henry Margot brand. So while this one is a little more expensive on the front end, you can use a coupon with this one to save money. For this one, you'll just have to wait for a sale, which I think happens a couple of times a year. Now, the biggest difference is the length and sort of the cut. Elva is a bit longer and less layered, so it lays a lot more, a lot less rounded. This is more just like a, a straight bob. And while it does have some slight layers for shaping, they're not pronounced. In addition, the bang on Elva is longer. Let me get this where it should be so you can see. I pushed it back to make it easier for me. Now, that's common. If you're going to wear bangs, you should expect that a lot of the bangs on the wigs will be a little longer. They do that on purpose because they're not making the wig for your head. They're trying to make it for the majority of heads and it's easier to trim bangs. You really can't add more hair onto these. So it's better if it's longer. I do have a video showing you how to trim bangs really easy with a thinning razor. It's so foolproof. Don't be afraid. You can do it. I can do it. You can do it. And I will put that video below. Let's throw Mariah on. And I did take pictures. So I'll put those pictures at the end. So it's really easy to see the side on the side by side. But as you can see, much more rounded. Elva sat much straighter and very much more layered, which makes Mariah look a little less dense, a little thinner overall. Now the difficulty is the measurements aren't the same. So Henry Margot takes their measurements differently than Noriko. So you don't have all the same measurements to go apples to apples. But as you can see, even when I put Mariah where she should be, that bang, why is that important? Well, I think I'm two and a half inches from here to here. I have all my measurements down below in the description. So if you have a three inch measurement or two and three quarters, this bang, maybe too short for you, depending on your bang preference, because it's not very long. Whereas Elva has a longer bang, has a lot more flexibility on forehead length. So that's one reason you might consider one or the other. The other might be if you have a similar measurement and you don't want to mess with cutting bangs, even though I promise you it's a lot easier than you think it is with a thinning razor, then you might want to choose Mariah because you might not have to cut that bang. 
Another factor may be that you like, you don't, you know, you get overwhelmed a lot by wigs. So you like the kind of the thinner look because of the layers. They both have permatease on top. They both have a similar amount of permatease. So really it's the length, it's the layering, and it's the bangs that are the biggest differences. So we'll, I'll throw Elva on once again so that you can see it doesn't have the same roundedness. And it also, I just think Mariah looks like less hair. Measurement wise, Mariah is slightly lighter. They do both have that measurement and she is slightly lighter. I'm not sure if I can get it up here real quick. So Mariah, this one is 3.4 ounces and Elva is 3.7. So not a lot, but you know, when you're sensitive, when you're new to wigs, even little things can be a big deal, but you can see longer and it just looks a little heavier right here. It's not heavy. They're, you know, this one is kind of a light to moderate density. I think Mariah feels just a little bit lighter than this one. So summarizing, if you love them both, you don't mind having to trim up a bang and you don't have a long forehead measurement. Again, I think I'm two and a half inches. Then pick the one that has the best color for you. Do a comparison of the colors that they offer and go with the one that has the better color choice. I do think Mar Mariko has more color choices than um, Henry Margot in a lot of their styles. Also, go by price point. If you know you've got, you like them both and you can find a color in both that you think would be great, look at the price and make a judgment that way. I mean, that's generally what I do. When I'm looking at wigs, I'm looking at all of those factors to help me make a decision. So luckily, if you wear bobs with bangs, now you know two that could be possibilities if you don't mind regular synthetic and you don't mind machine made caps. I would also say this one came with a bit of cold setting up here. It's got this weird kind of crimp right here. And I think it's because of how it was in the box. When I did my review of this one, and again, those are linked below, I did mention that I'm going to be doing a Tip Tuesday showing how you can take some heat to a wig to get rid of some of that, maybe some funny crimping or you know, cold setting that's happening. And this is regular synthetic, so you've got to be careful with the heat that you take to it, but I will do a video showing how. So don't judge this one negatively by that. I do think it's an anomaly just with my piece, which can happen. Thanks for watching, everybody. Here come the pictures. And thanks again, name brand wigs. Fun to do a comparison. Talk to you guys in my next video. Hey friends, thanks so much for watching. Here are a few videos I think you might enjoy. Go ahead and click on one and watch.